Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 19. All right, the previous episode we had a little bit of a tournament and the fight was fairly simple enough but obviously the emotional attachment of the fight between Valkyrie and Homura was a little bit more what can I say uh, uh, was the only thing that was there which was a lot more complex about the situation and all the other fighters were very easy to defeat but you know Valkyrie versus Homura that was like you know a bit more emotionally charged and uh, we got to know after like you know winning that um, Zhao Mei uh, we got a lot of information by the way in the previous episode a uh, few uh, very interesting stuff uh, the first thing is that uh, Chiki is somehow related to mother that's one thing we got to know and another thing is that Zhao Mei was also a normal person before and she met a uh, mother and that's why she is now in this position of an oracle now and she doesn't even remember what happened at that, that moment when she met mother so it's so it's kind of true that after meeting mother something does happen you know and like you know like pino kind of said that i want a wish where i can become a human and uh, like, you know, other people have their other wishes all that stuff and uh, yeah and uh, also another thing we got to know is that Va home uh, valkyrie is somewhere in the sun jewel planet i think that was the name the 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 character design of the planets are really amazing i really love it and sun jewel planet the way it was shown it's it's beautiful it's filled with with gemstones and stuff and i'm really looking forward to going there and seeing what you know what the planet is actually about how it looks like so i'm quite excited for that and uh, yeah so now in this episode i'm guessing we're going to go to the sun jewel planet and start our um uh, search for valkyrie so yeah so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 19 of eden zero so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Hmm, okay, let's go. What? Whoa, some alien birds. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mining planet. Oh, okay, gemstones. Uh. Moscow. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah, then we're going to go to mother. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing this is the start of another arc, and I. I'm not sure how many episodes this season is supposed to have. I think it's like 24 or 26, either of that. So we have at least five more episodes left, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think it's enough for an arc.
Okay. Star of Forevermore. Three days. Oh. All right. Oh, so we we have a little <laughs> dying. Oh, <laughs> most useless. Oh, I think there must be some complications. Yeah, it won't be so easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my. Ziggy must be like, yeah, do it on your own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm deleting this. Uh, okay. What? Oh, fish? Outer space fishes. What the? Whoa. Um <laughs> Oh yeah happy would be really happy <laughs> Happy would be really happy Oh Aqua Cosmos oh <laughs> Oh happy would love it there <laughs> What? Um What's that? Is that a fisherman? No, what? What the? <laughs> what? Oh, um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're on him. Oh. Whoa! Is that how someone asks for help? So calm and so cool? Wow, this guy, yeah, he has been through stuff. <laughs> Captain Connor. Um, what? <laughs> um. Wait, you sleep like that as well? <laughs> Old man. <laughs> wow. That that's a fancy way of saying you're hungry. Uh. My god. Boy. <laughs> First eat then talk <laughs> Rebecca you yeah Okay <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> What the? <laughs> hmm. Mm. Yeah, we don't have a captain. We have a demon lord with us. Um, there's another man. Two men, men here. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> oh boy. Is that him snoring? What the? <laughs> oh. 
Uh Okay. <laughs> no more still trying to. <laughs> hmm. Why? What is he doing here? Um. <laughs> Wasn't uh, which keeping an eye on him? <laughs> Wasn't which keeping an eye on him? Oh boy! Oh my God! No, no. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God, this guy is a riot. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what's happening? Oh no, is is it him? Oh no, oh no, witch is mad. Oh my god. Oh boy. Is it? I think it's its own. Yeah, it is him. Um. Yeah. Oh. Wait, does he know some kind of shortcut? Or Whoa. Wait. What the? Did he know some kind of wormhole? <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> Location of some kind of wormhole and wrapped into. Yeah, he must have. Must be some kind of wormhole. Oh, okay. Oh. He maneuvered and reached there in a day. Yeah. Damn, he really is a captain. <laughs> <coughs> what? Eden's one? What the? So, this is Eden zero, so this is another. Whoa, I was not expecting- Whoa, everything is golden! <laughs> what the hell? Wow, this is a... Very fancy place. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you rich? <laughs> Boy. What? 
All right. Oh yeah, because of this guy. <laughs> what? What the? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's go. Hmm. But how are you going to find her? Like, maybe go to a pub or something like that where you can get information. The wait, Nasu Lucy, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> First, they, sh they were in. Uh... They're traveling the world, Nasu and Lucy. Increase <laughs> <laughs> the challenge for them. All right. Um. Oh. Well, that's the most easiest and effective way, I guess. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 Whoa, what's that? Oh, this is the thing we see in the opening. What the? Oh, wow. What type of is this? Whoa! It's Ichiya. Oh, it's a mask. Luya is also there. <laughs> wow. This episode has a lot of, you know, Easter eggs or something like that. No, Shiki. Well, Shiki can use his gravity power to stop the bullets. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Homer is also there. Forgot about her. Boy. <laughs> so amazing. Yeah, like these are normal robbers. What they're going to do, even? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa! What the hell? Um... What? Scarlet Woman? <coughs> so she, is she like the leader of this place or something? Oh, they were jamming them, uh, that place. Whoa! Wait, what happened to them? Oh, they're gone. What? 
No. Wait, what happened? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Did they like obliterate them or something? Yeah. Completely obliterated like that. Oh boy. Okay. Damn, this is like a little bit too brutal, I guess. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's like robots. Whoa, is, Drakenjo is here. Oh, and this lady, we see her in the op opening. Divine punishment. Locate. Well. Which he's also kind of a criminal. So why is always, always, but I guess he's not doing anything to the people here. So. Yeah, this guy, we also see him in the opening. Oh, she, he knows her. Oh, is this Valkyrie? Oh boy. Um, these are the, oh no, are, are they here for them? Punishers. Uh, no. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Accomplice. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, great. Ah, yeah, great. Wow. So, what? Wh um. Metal? Um, come on, Shiki, use a gravity to do something. Uh, or were they teleported somewhere? I don't know. No, wow, we're going to, <laughs> we're going to end it there. <laughs> Great. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, um, a new, few new developments and uh, a lot of things actually happened in this one episode, like the whole thing with the captain and then uh, like here uh, with the Scarlet Woman, I think that was what she was called, yeah, Kurenai Fujin, so she's like, I'm guessing she's like the leader here or the Queen here, I can, you can kind of feel it like that. Like, yeah, I think queen is the appropriate term. By the way, she was like, you know, like, what can I say? Like acting, it felt as if it was something like that. So. <clears throat> yeah, so. Again, like this is another, this is a, a situation where it's like, like they themselves are the justice here uh the scarlet woman and 
her soldiers and all the other people who are associated with her they are like they are like the justice here and usually for criminals as rebecca said is that the end yeah uh, as rebecca said there's like a trial and like you know they determine whether you like you know what type of crime you did whether you're really guilty or not and then you get uh, like you know uh, punishment based on the severity of the crime so that like you know like like why this happens usually because people make mistakes so there might be people who are you know uh, what can i say like who are caught um, like in, in a mistake you know like for example if someone has not done a crime but someone pins the blame on someone if you know you know that's why like they are caught and the investigation goes on trial happens and then you if you're still found guilty you're punished otherwise you're not so that's why what it actually is like people make mistakes so that's why these type of like you know rules and regulations exist whereas here they what they are basically doing is like they themselves are the law they themselves are the justice here they don't care if they see something and they believe that yeah this is wrong they'll just kill you then and there and this this is definitely not some kind of like what can i say like uh, a good way to actually Mm. What can I say? Like to actually, uh, sh uh, I cannot find the word to actually make people. Uh, but people here are like looking very, uh, what do you call? It? Like that's kind of weird in a way, as far as I can see. Like you know, the people here are very happy because <clears throat> I was hoping there would be people who were not actually. I'm sure there are. You know but we are not seeing them at, at, at this episode but maybe we'll see in later on there are must be people who are not content with this way of the thing goes so yeah as i was saying so basically like you know they are the justice here whatever they says that's the correct thing and everything else is wrong so it's like they're like completely like you know ruling this pla place without any mercy like whoever they will believe is guilty they'll just kill them then and there <clears throat> even if they are not guilty they don't care so <clears throat> that's how this is going now obviously here <clears throat> we can see that um this lady i'm guessing she made everything like this you know this type of like she developed this place or something i'm not sure what she actually like, what type of a character she is but i'm guessing she's kind of like the queen so i'm i'm guessing she is the actual person who made everything so developed in this planet or something. I, but I, I might be wrong. It might be someone else. But main thing here, she is the leader. And another weird, like not weird thing, but Rakan Joe is supposed to be a criminal, isn't she? So he is talking with her and nothing is like, you know, she's not taking any steps. I'm guessing the reason behind that is because he is not messing with the people here. If he's like you know tries to mess with the people here and as like you know uh like the scarlet woman says that uh anyone doing like you know bad things in and like you know uh are who are guilty here they'll they'll die and uh they'll be punished <clears throat> unless and until bracken joe's directly does something bad here i'm guessing she won't do anything you know that's why he is able to uh, like, you know talk with her <clears throat> and uh, i'm guessing they are also uh, I'm, what can i say uh, like you know acquainted with each other pretty well because he said something like uh, i'm looking for the eden zero you know uh, i want you to find them out so like he is uh, asking her to find them out for him so i'm guessing they are acquainted enough for him to actually ask something like that to her I'm, I'm guessing or maybe like you know maybe there's some other reason maybe she, he's hiring her or something i don't know like, you know there's a few questions here and there but i'm sure we're going to get our answers but yeah anyways okay so that i'm going to talk about this portion later on first of all the first part of this uh episode here we start on our journey to the sun jewel planet and uh, there was supposed to be debris that's why they were taking a detour which is going to take three uh, three days and we meet a guy the captain <laughs> this weird dude obviously we can see that 
but like you know like the way <coughs> wit and uh, sister are kind of freaking out over him kind of saying that oh he must be suspicious now which is not saying that i think wise was saying that yeah wise and uh, Hom uh hermit is also kind of suspicious of him you know i, I don't think it is like, you know he is someone bad as shiki said like you know he's not bad i also don't think he's bad but obviously he is a little bit suspicious and there's a little bit of mystery surrounding him so yeah and he <clears throat> now he so he lives li or lived in the aqua cosmos and he has drifted around and come here in the sakura cosmos he didn't even know that and uh, he <clears throat> all right okay so now here obviously we can see his uh, skill at controlling the ship because obviously he's a captain uh, he did the impossible which i'm guessing uh, witch and sister also never uh, expected you know like actually surpassing uh, or you know going past the debris and reaching the uh, sacro cosmos uh, uh, sorry the sun jewel planet in one day now <laughs> like so another thing we got to know by the end of it that he is i'm not sure like i'm guessing he's a, he was the captain of eden's one now this is interesting in a way because i'm guessing eden zero by the name is supposed to be i don't know the predecessor of the eden's one or maybe not i'm not sure but by the naming you know usual naming sense like eden zero zero is supposed to come before eden's one so is this also somehow related to zebi who knows maybe you know, maybe like we already saw that um <clears throat> like you know in lc when we met lc we already saw that lc has a lot of ships and uh eden's zero was a ship within that that which was kind of like you know dormant laying dormant and after like you know shiki came and like you know fought the uh, um uh, you know the fake lc you know the uh fake lc that he fought with and defeated you know <clears throat> he was gifted the eden zero and lc said that this is actually <clears throat> ziggy's ship and no, I was uh, like, you know, I, 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 I like, I already had a plan of interesting this to you, so this is yours, and uh, you know, and uh, which was also inside Eden Zero, and then like, you know, we get the, we get the ship Eden Zero for us. So like, as far as we know, like Ziggy, when he, I'm guessing, went back to, <coughs> went back, uh, uh, he entrusted this to Elsie, and else he kept it so we don't know if there was some other ship which ziggy still had and by the name i'm guessing eden's one can be a ship which also ziggy had and maybe it is also somewhere i don't know somewhere it, it, it may be somewhere like you know uh, just like uh, lc had eden zero maybe lc also had eden's one i i'm not sure I'm, I'm making like wild assumptions now but basically i'm guessing like it, it is somehow related to eden zero otherwise why would they even show it you know like him actually taking his um, uh, putting his <coughs> sleeves down and there's like a tattoo of eden's one or something and uh, he says something about fate <coughs> yeah and uh, so i'm guessing we're going to get more answers and it there is a big possibility of eden's one also being one of ziggy's ship and this guy knowing ziggy from before there is a big possibility and uh, yeah who knows <clears throat> okay so that and uh, all right so that was the whole section with the <laughs> with the captain no he he, he looks like a <laughs> like you know a funny type of a guy you know doing weird stuff teaching uh you know <laughs> you know words that she should not say and uh <laughs> pino is learning them uh, in a very fast pace <laughs> okay that was funny and uh yeah that was that and then we get to the sun jewel planet mm. and okay just a sec
I think we saw. Yeah. That was Nasu and Lucy, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just checking that portion again. Um, just a sec. Yeah, it is Nasu and Lucy. <laughs> he even has the fairy tale symbol. <laughs> but Lucy also has it. <laughs> what are they even doing? They were like, you know. Oh my god, like. Uh, are they like. <laughs> traveling the world? <laughs> Not world, the universe after everything, like, you know. After defeating uh, uh, Zeref and I'm, I'm guessing like a, a fatal like it's still continuing the manga is continuing not the original fatal I'm talking about the hundred years quest like that's I think that's supposed to be the sequel of fatal and I, I, I think I read a few chapters in the beginning and then I like you know I, I kind of forgot about it I'll probably read it later on you know and may, obviously probably will get an anime of that as well so I'll probably wait for that you know, like a hundred years quest and uh, <laughs> aren't they supposed to be doing that what are they doing here i'm guessing uh, i'm guessing everything is happening after that or something you know <laughs> oh boy <laughs> anyways i'm joking i know like these are not no way connected this is just cameo but just i'm kind of saying <laughs> boy i love this little like you know <laughs> little easter eggs you can i think you can call them and uh, yeah, and then in comes the the what do you call them? Uh, the robbers or the yeah. They come and obviously we can see a plue mask and then Ichia mask. At the beginning, I was very surprised. I was like, "What the hell is Ichia doing here?" And then I saw that okay, that's actually a mask. <laughs> oh my god, that was something. But yeah, all right. Anyways, okay, and that happens. Uh, Shiki. Omura defeats them. Now, here's a weird thing. Now, obviously, these the criminals are punished, and the people were, you know, uh, okay, where are they? The people were kind of cheering for uh, Shiki and Homura. Okay, where is that section? Okay, yeah, they. Oh, okay. I thought they congratulated them. No, they did not. Like, I was thinking that uh, the people who were cheering, I thought that they congratulated Shiki and Homura for, like, you know, defeating them or something. But now that I look at it again, no, they did not do that. They were actually, uh, you know, uh, happy about the fact that the Crimson Woman completely killed them or something like that, you know. They were happy about, like, you know, there being no crimes and stuff. So, and there's this, there's this guy who actually comes and says that you guys were great, but don't get too heated. Okay, so, yeah. Anyways, so basically, boy, so, <laughs> it's a weird thing to actually think about it. This, like, you know, this lady here, uh, Scarlet w uh, Woman, she says stuff like, like nothing will happen to my planet like you know uh, everything you know it will be like uh, all peaceful because i am here i'm going to uh, you know what do you call it uh, take care of all the bad people who can comes here who like you know condones violence like she says that and her whole signal was jammed by these people so basically what would have happened here is if shiki and homura were not there they would have robbed the place, taken the people hostage, and there would have been a lot more, you know, problems. And if she and Homura were not here, because the signal was jammed, the Scarlet Princess wouldn't even know what was happening. Unless and until someone actually went to her and said that there's a problem going on. She wouldn't know before that. So what here happened is due to her own, what do you call it, uh, mistake, mistake, yeah, you can call it um, carelessness. You can also call this that due to her own carelessness she was unable to know like you know actually help the people in time and the people like you know and the, and the uh, people who actually helped them is uh, shiki and homura and after everything is happened like you know everything uh, is over and the, the scarlet woman uh, kills the criminals they actually come and arrest the same Homura and Shiki who helped her in a way or helped the people. Like weird, 
very weird sense of justice here you know because like what can i say like if like actually weird type of a situation like i would have understood if uh it was something like no i wouldn't have understood like whatever they're doing is is really weird here because the sense of justice themselves is not as perfect as the woman is claiming to be you know everything is not peaceful because obviously we can see the people here doing stuff like this and obviously her uh you know keeping the people safe is also something that she claimed but she is unable to do that properly because of the thing that we saw here because they can easily jam the signal and even though he she has these type of shortcomings the people who actually helped her keep her what do you call it dignity as a queen you know like shiki and like you know shiki and humura basically did that they actually helped her keep her dignity as a queen because you know they did not let anything happen to the people here and that's why her mistake could be overlooked if they were not here you know something bad must have happened they would have either like you know gotten away with the money or something else would have happened and it would have been a blow to her what can i say dignity her pride as a queen i'm guessing she's a queen i'm just uh, calling her the queen because she looks like it you know so the people who actually helped her keep her dignity and pride as a ruler they're arresting them I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. And I'm saying arresting because I doubt they're dead. You know, like it, it was, it, it seemed as if in the end, like, you know, they died. But nah, that's obviously not going to happen because <laughs> there's a lot more, <laughs> like, you know, things left that we have to do. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, like, everybody knows that, knows that they're not dead. They are either, they, I, like, my guess is they have been teleported somewhere. That's the only thing that I can see happening here because we can see like i was kind of waiting for the end where the smoke would pass away and we would see if there's like a red patch or something just like uh, the uh, thing that happened to the criminals and i was waiting for that but they did not like you know it ended before that like, you know the smoke was still there so we still cannot uh, like, you know say what actually happened to them either they were teleported somewhere you know or Mm, I think that's the only way, like, you know, this can go because or maybe, maybe they ran away or something. They were able to, uh, yeah, that can also be what happened, you know, that can also be another alternative. Maybe, like, they really were able to uh, slip past the judgment, you know, run away or, like, you know, kind of uh, dodge the thing that came that was trying to kill them and that would have killed them if, you know. But my bet is they were teleported somewhere because we can see here that Draken Joe, like she, like he came here and he is, uh, oh, but we don't know if uh, the Crims, uh, the uh, Scarlet, uh, uh, what's, what's her name? Scarlet Woman, yeah, the Scarlet Woman, if she actually knows that these people here are the Eden Zero crew, we still don't know that, if she has figured that out or not. So, who knows? what actually happened but Draken Joe is also like trying to get them and uh, he has some kind of ties with the crimson uh, not crimson scarlet woman and we need to know her name it's really weird to actually call her some like you know scarlet woman <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get her name sooner or later but yeah anyways okay that was that and two more things are happening here which is also mysterious the the guy uh like you know there was like a little owl there and it went to a guy who said something like oh they're finally here and he said something like uh you know like calls valkyrie and valkyrie is kind of smiling so i'm not sure what was that about like <laughs> kind of she was kind of smiling a little you know uh evilly you know like the way evil people laugh or smile but I'm sure, like, you know, the, the, that was to throw us off. Make us feel as if, oh my god, is Valkyrie actually her enemy? Or who knows, maybe, like, you know, maybe she also has some kind of circumstances like Hermit. And we'll have to figure that out. But first of all, the thing that we have to do is... Uh, <laughs> the Scarlet uh, wom uh, Woman. We have to 
save ourselves from her <laughs> otherwise nothing else can be done so yeah a lot of things actually happen in this single little episode so yeah that was it and uh, yeah all right so that was it guys that was this episode this was eden zero episode number 19 so okay let me check if i missed something or not um no i don't think so Yeah, so that was it. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.